Meet Baxter. Unlike these things which require skilled operators and technicians and millions of dollars, Baxter has vision and can learn what you want him to do by watching you do it, and he costs less than the average annual salary of a human worker. Unlike his older brothers, he isn't pre-programmed for one specific job. He can do whatever work is within the reach of his arms. Baxter is what might be thought of as a general purpose robot, and general purpose is a big deal. Think computers. They too start out as highly custom and highly expensive, but when cheap-ish general purpose computers appeared, they quickly became vital to everything. A general purpose computer can just as easily calculate change, or assign seats on an airplane, or play a game, or do anything just by swapping its software. And this huge demand for computers of all kinds is what makes them both more powerful and cheaper every year. Baxter today is the computer of the 1980s. He's not the apex, but the beginning. Even if Baxter is slow, his hourly cost is pennies worth of electricity, while his meat-based competition costs minimum wage. A tenth of the speed is still cost-effective when it's a hundredth the price. And while Baxter isn't as smart as some of the other things we will talk about, he's smart enough to take over many low-skilled jobs. And we've already seen how dumber robots than Baxter can replace jobs. In new supermarkets, what used to be 30 humans is now one human overseeing 30 cashier robots. Or take the hundreds of thousands of baristas employed worldwide. There's a barista robot coming for them. 